biology has dramatically changed in the last two decades, enabling the effective engineering of biological systems. The genomic revolution, which provided the ability to sequence a cell's genetic code, is the primary driver of this dramatic change. Now, a group of AI practitioners are looking to adapt and apply principles of AI to SynBio in a variety of applications. Join us as we speak with Aaron Adler at Raytheon BBN as we discuss artificial intelligence for synthetic biology. The purpose of our paper is to highlight the benefits to both the AI and synthetic biology community of what the other fields can bring to the table. Synthetic biology seeks to bring the rigor of engineering to the field of biology. This has a number of wide-ranging applications, such as uh, agriculture, medicine, uh, and the environment. With the current breakthroughs that have already occurred within SynBio, the addition of AI may bring new opportunities once only dreamt about. AI can help synthetic biology in a number of ways. There is a classic technique in synthetic biology is the design, build, test, learn loop. And AI can really help in each of these phases from making the designs more predictable, helping to learn new things from the experiments you've conducted, and helping to model the systems better to gain a new level of understanding of the underlying biology. As innovation develops, so do the challenges and hurdles, and AI within SynBio is no different. There are two main challenges to applying AI to synthetic biology. The first is a set of technical challenges, including better modeling, better data, and better metrics in the data that is collected. The second set of challenges deals with the sociological aspects of the two fields and the need for them to understand each other better and to work together more collaboratively. In order for SynBio to really benefit from all the power of AI, there needs to be additional work done to both build the communities, have them talk to each other more, and also for the data that's collected to be more standardized and uh, compatible with the different AI techniques. While the field is progressing, the future is highly dependent upon further research and collaboration. As we articulate in the paper, there are a variety of ways that researchers can get involved from attending conferences to participating and collaborating with colleagues. One of them that I'm particularly passionate about is a series of symposiums that we've been running as part of the AAAI symposium series. This brings together researchers both from AI and from synthetic biology in a collaborative environment to help understand each other and tackle new hard problems. We were really excited to publish this paper about AI and synthetic biology because the community really has an opportunity to change the world in a lot of ways. There are a lot of application areas that can benefit from both what AI and what synthetic biology can bring to the table. And we want to expand the community and help it grow and become more cohesive. And this paper is a great step in that direction towards, towards building the community that we, that we envision. Find out more in Artificial Intelligence for Synthetic Biology, a review article in the May 2022 Communications of the ACM.